Oh, hey, mateys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a squelchy, psytrance, drippy bass. One that goes... Uh, you know the one. You know the one. Without any further magoo, let's dig right in. Here's an example of the sound that we're going to be making today. It's actually a really simple patch to make. Basically, start out just turning on oscillator one and oscillator <laughs> oscillator A and oscillator B. You want to go ahead and turn your filter on. Go to normal and find band 24. It's just a simple band filter on two oscillators. I find that the the simplest the sine waves are, the better noises you're going to get out of it. So I'd go ahead and use a saw wave. And let's do a basic analog sine wave for oscillator B. You want to go ahead and turn oscillator B on in the filter. Crank your resonance up pretty high. I find the best noises, drippy sounds you're going to get are in this region. You can obviously experiment with any of these. I recommend playing um, just a simple melody in the back as you're messing around. So let's actually let's actually just single out this lead pattern melody that I made for the bass. So as you can tell the resonance adding a lot more high pitches. And then if you move the 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 cutoff filter, you really start to hear some of the squelch coming in. All right, now that we got that, let's go ahead and turn these both down one octave. And what we're going to want to do is crank the drive up a little bit on the filter as well. Make sure your resonance, we'll set it to actually like, we'll set it to 85 for now. Cutoff filter doesn't matter, we're going to end up automating this. Let's go ahead and turn on a uh, chorus. Then you're going to want reverb as well as a delay. I like to have I like to have the reverb on hall. Turn the size down a little bit. Turn BPM on on the chorus. Turn the delay about 20. We'll do the chorus at 12 bars. Now from here, there's other there's there's many different ways you can manipulate the cutoff filter. You can either assign it to just a knob. Now personally, what I like to do is just draw my own automation clips of the filter cutoff. So this is just a little automation sample that I ended up creating. Let me make sure that's connected. Forgot to mention, I do have Serum running through a compressor. I'm just using Fruity Limiter, just kind of boosting the gain, cutting it off, just to squish all the noises together a little bit. Um, you could also use the compressor built into Serum, but I actually, I like using Fruity Limiter better than Serum's compressor. Another thing that I like to experiment with. Once I have the sound rolling and I'm just kind of messing around, now is when you can t start start tweaking with your resonance filter, start tweaking with your, your cutoff, your drive. And I also really like to change 
the octaves of both A and B until I get the sound that I'm looking for. That's basically all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you please, oh my god, I'm so fucking tired right now. Ugh. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned anything, you enjoyed it, go ahead and uh, drop a. <sighs> if you uh, enjoyed it and you want me, oh my god, what the fuck? I need to like write a script for this shit. <laughs> I quit. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned anything, go ahead and drop a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment if you want me to design any other sound that you, you're, you're interested in trying to learn how to make. And it also will force me to learn how to make it as well. So we both get something out of it. Um, there will be a link in the description to download this patch for free if you'd like it. Thanks so much. Adios.